Hello everybody, I'm here again to tell you about another new feature coming to Game Maker Studio as of version 2.3.2, .2, I believe. As of recording this version, once again, it's only in beta, uh, only available in the beta right now. Uh, a couple of weeks from now it'll be available to everyone, if you want to try it out now you'll have to get the beta version. Uh, just look at the date of this video. Was this video released ages ago? If so, it's probably available now. Uh, but it's not quite available yet, but it's very exciting and I wanted to talk about it. Um, it's called uh, Nine Slices. Uh, that might sound familiar to you if you're familiar with my videos. I made a video on this a very long time ago, um, and also an asset for it um, to uh, allow you to, that you could buy to, to do it with a script, um, in case you couldn't be bothered to watch the video. But basically, what Nine Slicing is, is a way of splitting a sprite into nine slices in order to draw a box of any arbitrary size, by stretching and repeating those slices. Uh, you used to have to do this yourself, and um, it wasn't wasn't actually very hard. Um, it was pretty much just one script. Uh, but now you can automate it in Game Maker, or rather, as I said, you can soon. Um, so I'm gonna show you how this will work, or works at the moment in the beta. Uh, here's my sprite that I want a nine slice. Uh, just like before, it's designed um, kind of with slices in mind. Okay, so you can see my grid here. It's split into these nine squares, uh, eight by eight, um, like we focused on the corners, the uh, the edges, and the middle, okay? Those are the nine slices that a nine slice is made of. Um, and basically, we'll be able to stretch this to any size and we'll do some repeating of the, the edges uh, in order to make sure it looks correct and isn't just super stretched. Um, I have an object um that has this sprite set to it and its image x scale and y scale will change over time in order to just you know make um the object just stretch in size obviously if we run that as it is now um it just does that right that's not what we want that's just stretching the box um the box image itself um we want to make this use uh, a nine slice now if we come to the sprites there's a whole new little section just called nine slice just on every individual sprite uh, we can toggle that and then we get this weird little like split screen view where we set up the nine slice on the left and we get a preview of it on the right. We get these like pink lines and if I drag them to mark out the slices just as I've planned them in the image editor just so that it basically matches up with our grid here. Okay, so just each 8 by 8 section is just kind of cordoned off by these slices and you can set them manually in here as well. Um, what that then does is if we come over here to our preview and move this around, we can stretch it and whoa! Like, <laughs> that's almost what we want! Um, you can see it's like it's keeping the corners the same size as this scales up. Um, you know it's the edges and the middle look a bit daft. Um, the reason for that is by default it's just going to stretch those elements uh, to try and fit the box, which would work if we didn't have these little like uh, notchy bits and we didn't have this texture in the middle. Like if this was a solid colour, and um, if, if like every column of pixels here was the same and every row of pixels here was the same this would work but as it stands um, this won't work if we've got these little extra texture bits but it's very easy to make it make it work um, what we can do is we can actually click on the different edges um, the edges in the middle and we can set uh, how they should slice um, so if we go to our edges and we select, instead of stretch, select repeat over here on tile mode. You can already see over here, it's changed it. Um, and now those little uh, notches are repeating across the texture. Um, do that for every side. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And same in the middle, repeat. And suddenly we can stretch this out and we can make it any arbitrary size we want. And it works uh, really, really cleanly and well. Um, and then all we actually have to do is tick this activate nine slice button. If I run the game now with just that one object that's just set to scale itself in size, it just works. It just fundamentally changes the way that sprite will be drawn in the game from that point onwards. So you can literally just set an object to have this as a sprite, set its size, and it will just nine slice automatically and be whatever size you need it to be. Okay, um, it's super great. Um, works with all the other draw functions as well. So like uh, I'm doing draw self here, but you can use um, you know draw sprite stretched or draw sprite ext. You know all the different kind of things that allow you to scale up the sprite, and it'll work just the same because it just changes the way the sprite behaves fundamentally. Okay, um, it'll just automatically slice it up for you. Um, here it is with a slightly different one that I made earlier. If we go to Xbox Two, um, just the uh, 
the, the, the image from the um, Action RPG series, uh, just scaling up in the same way. Um, they can animate as well, for whatever that's worth. Um, so if I just sort of copy, add an extra frame in here, and I'll just put some dots on the thing. It's not the most exciting animation in the world, uh, but just to show you, like that playing there, that's what it would look like. Um, it animates. It's uh, not a great example, but you get the idea. Um, that could be quite cool. Um, what's also cool is you can do it in the room editor as well. So you can see, like, I've placed this in the room editor. Um, if I just change its size around, um, it, it nine slices with it there as well. So if, if I just change this back to be the other sprite, we just set our grid to something more like, I don't know, like 8x8 eight eight or something like that. You could use this to, like, set up, say, if you had a room that you want to be, um, like a menu or something like that in your game. Does it rotate as well? Oh my god, they rotate as well. I didn't even know that. <laughs> so you can draw them at an angle as well and they work. That's really cool, actually. Didn't realize that. Learning new things while recording the video. Um, but yeah, you could have an RPG with like, you know, a typical menu made out of like these different boxes and stuff like that, like a JRPG menu, right? Um, you could just sort of set that up really easily just by making a couple of these sprites, make all different kinds of menus. Um, really, really easily just in the room editor visually. So that's super cool. You could have them like, as I say, they can animate, so you could have them do cool transitions and things like that. Um, and as I say, changing the size is as easy as just the way you would always normally change the size of an instance just by using image X scale, Y scale, or, um, or, or any of the different draw functions. Um, it's really cool just how, how simply it's set up so that it just kind of works that way. Um, it's really, really, um, really, really easy to use. And uh, just being able to set the way each individual like edge behaves like that um, is quite a big advantage over how we used to have to do it because we would usually just have to make a bunch of different scripts, right? Um, like a, a, a draw nine slice stretched or a draw nine slice repeating and that kind of thing. But here we can um, set it up on a per sprite, per edge uh, basis. So we've got um, lots and lots of control over that now. Uh, there you have it, cool new feature coming to Game Maker, uh, a Game Maker near you uh, sometime soon, version 2.3.2. So if your version in the top right says you're in version 2.3.2 or later, um, you'll have this. Um, I know mine says version 23 or whatever because the beta, is, I don't know, that's just how the beta versions work. I don't really know why. <laughs> um, but yeah, version 2.3.2. You'll have this. It's really cool. Make use of it. Um, that's all from me. Thanks for watching. Catch you all next time.